Capricorn. This is your bonus April 2024 tarot reading. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Capricorn for April 2024 in love. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Capricorn for April 2024 in love. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Capricorn for April 2024 in love. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Capricorn, this is the mutual point of interest between you and your partner. Maybe you mention it to your partner and it's on both you guys' minds. Maybe your partner mentioned it to you and it's on both you guys' minds. Or some external source has both you and your partner feeling this way, thinking this way, or wanting to take this action. This is the mutual point of interest between you. Capricorn, this is you. This is your partner. So, Capricorn, I want to say that no matter where these cards fall, it can be vice versa or someone in you guys' environment. For April 2024, the mutual point of interest between you and your partner, Capricorn, is the Eight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is mastering your craft, perfecting your skills, trades, and abilities. This is you throwing yourself into your work. But this can also speak to you being willing to work on it or put in the work. So listen, Capricorn, you or your partner can tell me that this is all work or business. Or someone is telling me that they're willing to work on it, willing to put in the work. can tell me that someone is working on something, planning something, perfecting something here. Clear for the Eight of Pentacles. For Capricorn and their partner. Clear for the Eight of Pentacles. For Capricorn and their partner. Clear for the Eight of Pentacles. For Capricorn and their partner. It is clarified with the Three of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is heartbreak. This is pain. This is suffering. This is agony caused by a third party situation. So when I say third party, yes, a romantic third party. But this could also be meddling family members, friends, co-workers, neighbors, anyone being involved in you guys' relationship that shouldn't be, that is causing somebody heartbreak. So Capricorn, you know, someone could tell me that they're hurt. Now they could be hurt because their feelings are hurt or they're hurt because there's a third party. So listen, someone's feelings may be hurt concerning work or business or something that they're working on here. Could also tell me that, you know, someone hurt the other but is wanting to work on things, willing to put in the work here. It could have hurt this other person by having a third party. Someone could have had a third party at work. Capricorn, you have the Ace of Cups. It better not be you. You have the Hierophant. Hmm. You have the Hermit. Your partner has the Knight of Swords. Your partner has judgment. And your partner has uh, the lovers. Hmm. <clears throat> Capricorn, the mutual point of interest in what's on both you guys' minds is someone could be hurt over something that's happened at work or with work or business. Someone could tell me that, you know, yes, I was hurt, but I'm willing to work on it. Someone could have hurt the other person is, and is willing to work on it, willing to put in the work. <laughs> How conveniently, okay? Someone could tell me that they're hurt because someone had a third party at work. Capricorn, you have the Ace of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is a brand new beginning in love. A brand new beginning in a deep emotional connection. This is love overflowing. A brand new blessing. A brand new beginning in love. So Capricorn, new love, new start to love, or a blessing here. Clarify the Ace of Cups. 
for Capricorn, clarify the Ace of Cups. For Capricorn, clarify the Ace of Cups. For Capricorn, it is clarified with the Seven of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is you being defensive. You're on the defense. But this can also speak to you being put in a position where you're having to defend yourself against rumors, gossip, and other people's opinions. And this can be you shunning someone, fighting someone off, setting boundaries with someone. But this is also an accusatory card. So you could be being accused of some type of rumors and gossip, and you're giving your defense so excuse here. So listen, Capricorn, you can tell me that you're standoff and shunning and setting boundaries with this person. Or you're trying to come in and explain, give your explanation, excuse for defense here. So first off, Capricorn, you can tell me that you're a little defensive or defending yourself concerning some type of blessing, money, assets, resources, property. It could be work or business finances here. However, you can tell me that you're standoff and shunning and setting boundaries with this person because they had new love. Could also be standoff and shunning and setting boundaries concerning starting new with this person. You could also tell me that you're trying to come in and explain, give your explanation, excuse, or defense about this new love that you have, or, you know, it's not what you think. It's not like it seems. Um, are you going to believe me or your lying eyes? Or I don't know what you're trying to explain here. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> you have the Hierophant. Could be dealing with a Taurus. But the Hierophant speaks to the leader of a religious organization, the leader of a metaphysical organization. This is a clergyman, a pastor, a preacher, a teacher, a coach, a mentor, a counselor, someone of wise counsel. This is the institution of higher learning. This is a corporate institution. This is the marriage card. Could be dealing with a Taurus. You guys may be in a commitment. Someone may have commitment on the brain. This can be about forgiveness. This can be dealing with an institution, organization, governmental agency, religious differences, or values. Clarify the Hierophant for Capricorn. Clarify the Hierophant for Capricorn. Clarify the Hierophant for Capricorn. It is clarified with the Five of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you feeling neglected, abandoned, excluded, left out in the cold. This can speak to financial lack and poverty consciousness. This could be a breakup. So listen, Capricorn, you can tell me that something is going on financially, some type of financial lack, or this is a breakup. Now listen, you could be dealing with an institution, organization, governmental agency, work, or business here where there's some type of financial lack. Something concerning your blessing, money, assets, resources, property, a little defensive here. You can tell me that in you guys' already established commitment, you guys broke up. You could also tell me that, yes, we broke up, but someone is wanting forgiveness here. Is it you? Is it you trying to come in and explain, give an explanation, excuse, or defense because you're wanting to start new with this person? And you're trying to explain away this other person, this new love that you had? I'm just saying. You have the hermit. Could be dealing with a Virgo. But right now you're taking some time out to be alone, to do some soul searching, introspection, searching your inner man for wisdom and guidance, going within, looking for answers. Could be dealing with a Virgo, but you can tell me that, hey, I just need some me time. You can tell me that you're doing some heavy duty soul searching or you went on a solo search looking for something. Could also tell me that your stipulations or requirements to maybe start new with this person is to get some type of counseling, couples counseling, marriage counseling here. Clarify the hermit for Capricorn. Clarify the hermit for Capricorn. Clarify the hermit for Capricorn. It is clarified with the Eight of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you feeling stuck. Like you're in a self-imposed prison of your thoughts. This is you feeling like you can't move, but you can move because it's all mental. This is you refusing to see some things, refusing to acknowledge some things, a lack of information, blocked communication. This is you feeling stuck, trapped, and blocked. So Capricorn, you can tell me that you're feeling stuck in a situation or there's blocked communication. Now listen, you can tell me that you're doing some heavy duty soul searching because you're feeling stuck. You could also tell me that you're blocking communication, blocking, blocking, 
because you just need some time to be by yourself here, okay? To do some introspection. Capricorn, you can tell me that, you know, your feelings are hurt concerning something that's happening with work or business, some type of institution, organization, governmental agency here, dealing with your finances or some type of blessing. You could also tell me that, I don't know, maybe you're still hurt. So you don't know if you want to work things out here. You're stuck, okay? Or you caused this hurt. I'm going to let your partner tell me. And you're wanting to work things out with them. Because your partner has the Knight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is someone rushing into your partner or your partner rushing in, demanding truth, demanding clarity, speaking their truth, spewing facts with direct, harsh communication. Now, here's where truth comes out. It's swift, it's bitter, it's harsh, it's direct, it's almost confrontational. It's where you can't get a word in edgewise, but it's truth. So Capricorn, some type of confrontation happening here. Question and answer session. Someone setting the record straight. Someone getting to the bottom of something. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Capricorn's partner. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Capricorn's partner. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Capricorn's partner. It is clarified with the Four Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is your partner taking a break, resting, recovering, meditating, praying, recharging their crystals. So listen, Capricorn, your partner could tell me that you guys are on a break. Your partner could tell me that they're trying to recover or they're meditating on something here. Now, your partner could tell me that they're meditating on coming in to set the record straight with you, okay? Maybe it's them wanting to come in and explain something here. Your partner could tell me that you guys had this confrontation. They may have confronted you or you them, and now you guys are on a break here. Your partner could tell your partner could also tell me that they need to confront you so that they can heal, okay? Because they need to know when, where, with who, why, how many times. Your partner has judgment. Now, judgment could be your partner passing their own final verdict in judgment over you guys' relationship. Judgment could be the final verdict in judgment in a legal court case. But judgment is forgiveness and resurrection of the relationship. Second chances. So Capricorn, your partner could be passing their own final verdict in judgment here. Someone could be asking for forgiveness and a second chance. Or they're dealing with something in legal. Clarify judgment for Capricorn's partner. Clarify judgment. For Capricorn's partner, clarify judgment. For Capricorn's partner, it is clarified with the Two of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is, we see eye to eye, face to face. We are spiritually connected. We are one. We are meant to be. We are soulmates. Soulmates with a divine union, a divine connection. So listen, Capricorn, very well could be dealing with your soulmate here, but this can also be in an agreement. Now listen, it could also be some type of an agreement here. I don't know if you guys were primed to go into some type of commitment, already in a commitment, or you guys may have worked together here, okay? Your partner could tell me that they're needing to make a judgment call or a decision concerning some type of an agreement. Your partner could also tell me that they're making a judgment call concerning their soulmate, which is you. Or this reading could be vice versa and your partner could tell me that they're asking you for forgiveness and a second chance here. Maybe they're coming in to set the record straight <clears throat> and explain. Mm -hmm. Capricorn, your partner has the lovers. Could be dealing with a Gemini, but the lover says, you know, I breathe you in, you breathe me in. We are so magnetically attracted to one another. We cannot get enough of one another. Babe, I need to make a choice. Could be dealing with a Gemini, but your partner could tell me that you guys have this strong twin flame magnetic pull. Your partner could tell me there's another other lover, but the lovers could also be a partnership with work or business. Clarify the lovers for Capricorn's partner. Clarify the lovers for Capricorn's partner. Clarify the lovers for Capricorn's partner. It is clarified with the Ace of Wands. Aries, Leora Sag. This is a brand new, passionate, creative endeavor. 
Now, this can be the spark of a new idea. This can be some type of exciting, passionate communication, exciting, passionate action. But this one is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. So brand new, passionate beginnings. So listen, Gemini, I'm not Gemini, Capricorn, think about Gemini. Your partner could tell me that they have the spark of a new idea. Your partner could tell me that they're initiating something here. Your partner could tell me there's passionate communication, romantic passion, or a heated discussion or argument, or starting a passionate new beginning. Now listen, Capricorn, your partner could tell me that you guys had some type of passionate, heated discussion or argument over some type of partnership with work or business, some type of an agreement here. Dealing with maybe work and the finances here, the lack thereof, over some type of blessing, money here. Hmm. Your partner could tell me that you guys had a heated discussion or argument because someone here has another other lover. Your partner could tell me that someone here has another other lover and they started a passionate new beginning with this other lover. Your partner could also tell me that you guys have the strong twin flame magnetic pull and you guys are starting new. I don't care how you slice it. Yes, there could be hurt feelings with work or business. Hurt that someone is dealing with someone that they work with or do business with. Someone could tell me that they're hurt and they're still willing to work things out here. Because someone's asking for forgiveness and the Hierophant is on the board. But someone had someone else. Someone had a third party here. If this is not work or business related, someone had someone else here. And they used this one. And forgiveness is on the board here. And I'm just going to leave it like that. You're going to have to tell me in the comments. I'm going to take a look at the Twin Flames Exposed for you and your partner. You guys, support the channel with links in the description. Cash out for donations. And if you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. And it says, I haven't reached out because I got caught and I'm embarrassed and I don't know what to say. I haven't reached out because I got caught and I am embarrassed and I don't know what to say. When I say this card keeps coming out. Mm. What else for Capricorn and their partner? What else for Capricorn and their partner? And it says, your pics give me hope. You are so beautiful. Your pics give me hope. You are so beautiful. So what, dude? Let's take a look at the Hidden Truth Oracle for you and your partner. Don't cheat on me and then discover how beautiful I am. That's crazy. <laughs> I'm afraid to contact you. Should be. I'm afraid to contact you. I'm going to also take a look at the Lover's Oracle for both you and your partner, Capricorn. <clears throat> and it says, transformation. Your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transforms all things. Transformation. Your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transforms all things. Oh, it's about to get deep in here. Deep. Deep. Tyrese Deep. Tyrese Deep. Capricorn, this is your bonus April 2024 tarot reading. You guys give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.